Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today we're going to do possibly the biggest post burn reviews I've ever done on this channel. So please grab a snack, grab a drink, or go for a walk because I will be able to chat you all the way through that one. Um, I have 15 candles here. So I started doing these weekly, I called them weekly post burn reviews, but then I felt like if I was working a lot or not home, I was rushing through burning candles to get, you know, a chance to review them for you all. So I decided to go every other week. Um, I thought I was going to slow down on posting, but that didn't happen. But um, I started doing like fresh blend videos and kind of incorporating those on Wednesday. So um, this might get posted on Wednesday. I don't necessarily think it's like post burn Wednesdays, but that was typically my schedule, if you will. So, and it really allowed me to easily burn through six to eight candles because I burn multiple candles per day. I burn every day. Um, as soon as I get home from work, that's like the first thing I do. I put on my slippers, which I have on right now, and I light my candles. It makes me happy. It brings me joy. So I have six single wicks and nine three wicks to share with you today from Mainstays, um, Above Average Candle Studio, Bath and Body Works, and I have a Kringle candle. So let's jump into the single wicks. I burnt through two single wicks from Mainstays. This is in the sense Two Scoops Please, which has the notes of lemon, marshmallow, and vanilla, and Lemonade Stand, which has notes of lemon, lime, and sugar cane. Now these um, performed like a typical single wick to me. They're at like a $3.22 price point, which I really, really love because we love finding single wicks at the 75% table at SAS, don't we? And I will say that <clears throat> it pretty much gives you on burn what it gives you on cold. So these weren't really strong, like, whoa kind of sense when I opened the jar but I really found them to be pleasant so I thought this really showed a lot of lemon marshmallow vanilla blended beautifully kind of gave you like a an, there was no cold factor to make it seem like ice cream but I was like I see where they were going with it and even have like a cute little sticker so they're stepping up their game and like I said for three dollars I really enjoyed using these candles as companion candles what I mean by that is if I had a candle that was doing okay I would put it with a single wick that kind of smelled similar or elevated a little bit because you know what scents you like so you can mix and match notes and play with them and then i felt like they did just fine so i don't really burn candles in the bathroom anymore i had an aunt that sent me some videos a few months ago so i did burn candles in the bathroom and then i thought i just don't want to play with fate i know that's crazy but i don't spend a lot of time in there so like self-care sunday maybe or cleaning days but like on a regular basis no i use wallflower plugs in there and i use the concentrated room sprays and the bathrooms always smell delicious because i usually have the scent control ones in there and i turn them up so it smells really good in my bathrooms and i didn't really need a candle um, but that's typically where I used to burn single wicks. So I like to actually use these as companion candles. So if I'm in a bigger space, I'll do one three wick and a single wick and I just put them either together or apart. And it really gives me a lot of beautiful scent. So I do recommend that, um, if you're just like not loving the throw on a single wick, but I really think that's what a single wick's for. You know, think about people with smaller apartments, studios, roommates that might not like the scents offices where you can enjoy candles but not be offensive to others so there's a lot of purpose for single wigs so I always burn I like to buy them I do and still buy them even if I don't get strong throwing single wigs because I don't expect them to be so these were just fine I will probably repurchase or buy more as I see scents at Walmart it's just not something I'm running to grab but if any of that sounds interesting to you I highly recommend single wigs for that reason so if you remember, I got to do a little collab with Above Average Candle Studio. She sent me her Valentine's Day collection, which thank you again, OG. I really appreciate it. Um, they were so cute and they performed really well. So this was Kiss Me Cake, which was strawberry, coconut, and vanilla cream. I love this one because the sprinkles were unharmed in the burn of this candle. They stayed put and they were super cute. And they were just all the way around. I thought that was so cool. And the candle burnt down really nice and clean. It gave off a beautiful strawberry vanilla scent. I really didn't get a ton of coconut. But like on cold, I feel like I pick up a little bit more coconut. And it really just kind of made me think of cake. So I thought that was perfectly named, perfectly themed for Valentine's Day. And I really enjoyed it. I actually did place an order um, with Above Average Candle Studio. So I have a few more products to try and let you guys know about them. I thought... She supports me, so I gotta support her back, right? That's what we do here. 
Okay, so the next candle is Cherry Blossom Dreams. This was Erin's favorite candle. And as you can see, it burnt down really well. <clears throat> this is made with 100% vegan soy wax. So I think the burns are really clean on these candles. This has scent notes of cherry blossom, white musk, and teak wood. I almost didn't. I was going to say must. Mm -mm. That's not what's in here. And he described it really well. Um, he said it smells kind of like a man's cologne mixed with a woman's perfume, like that lingering scent. So they're not still sitting there, but you can tell that a couple, you know, were together with good smell and stuff on. I thought that was a really good description. I'm so proud of him. So I think this smells really like light, light, fruity, floral, really clean. Um, it was a really strong throw on a single wick, which you get from time to time. And we enjoyed this candle the whole time. This was the first one we actually finished. And I would definitely recommend it. And I hope she comes out with some maybe wax melts in these scents because I would probably pick them all up. I really did like the scent profile she came up with for Valentine's Day. Now, my chocolate strawberry was my favorite. Well, I think I was kind of leaning towards the next two. But as you can see, my wick stopped working, which is okay. Um, so I warmed this candle. And I'm, I'm happy to say that it really gave me a lot on warming. So <clears throat> I was still very happy with it. I didn't get a chance to burn it. I really thought it was interesting that these colors kind of stayed pretty separate um, after it was warmed all the way through. So I really liked it. Um, you know, it's still pretty scented. This had notes of strawberries, dark chocolate, and brownie bits. Still pretty scented. I warmed it for over a week, so I guess I could stick it back on the warmer, but I've been kind of moving on to some other things. So um, I really did enjoy this candle. My wick just stopped working, which could have been me. Truly could have been me. I don't trim them. I just knock off the mushroom top so it doesn't pop when I light it back up. Um, but yeah, it just stopped working, so I just did something else with it. So I warmed it, and I really enjoyed it. And the last one kind of had done the same thing. This is Valentine's Day cookies. This was sugar cookie, French vanilla, and ginger snap. I love this one. I love, so this candle is interesting because you can smell it, put it, put it away, smell it. And I almost get something different every time. It really is like almost experiencing it through taste. It's so interesting. So as I'm smelling it, I'm like, mm, like mm, French vanilla. Oh, I kind of get the cookie. There's the ginger snap. Like, it's so good. And I really enjoyed this on the warmer as well. It did a really good job and it gave me a lot. So I really enjoyed the whole collection. I really appreciate that she gave me the opportunity to try them. So thank you again. Okay, so now we're going to jump into some three wicks. We're going to start with this one, Banana Walnut Muffin. I did burn through quite a few three wicks, but a few of these had been started before. So they may have been a current burn review. I kind of keep them in crates so that I know, like, I want to go through some of those. Just always, re you know... Um, re what's that word cycling your collection that's not recycling but just like going through different things I pick some out and I put them in crates for the month so I always try to do like two crates a month that I feel like really work for that time and then I just add in as I go because I like to do that that's part of what I like um, about candles so this one I decided to pull from fall I didn't love the packaging of these but that was I picked scents that I did love so I loved this one I liked pineapple pound cake not on cold, but I really loved the burn. Went through a couple of those. This one I was actually saving because I didn't back up before they were gone. And it's sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. And I'll tell you, I really do get all of that, but I also really get the walnut bits. Like, you know, if you have banana bread with nuts in it or um, a wal you know, a muffin, and they have those little pieces and you can kind of smell them after they've been baking. I really get that in here. So it's not a note, but I know that there's walnut in here. And it just was really authentic to me. I thought it really threw well. Um, I will absolutely repurchase this candle. And I really want to try Goose Creek's Banana Walnut Muffin because I know so many people love that one. So it must be pretty good. And I just thoroughly enjoyed this through the entire burn. I was like, hmm, I kind of want a muffin. But I never got one because I'm trying to be low carb. And muffins are rarely low carb. So this one I wholeheartedly recommend. I think this is a really great candle from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so here's another one. And like I said, most of these performed fairly well for me. So if I forget to mention that, I really, I think I'll stop on the one candle that I kind of had to do a few things to. But Raspberry Tangerine, this came out last year too. Um, I was kind of mixing like Raspberry Tangerine with Lemonade Stand. This was really nice. Um, and I think I did like this on the warmer Valentine's Day cookies with banana walnut muffin. And 
the sugar cookie ginger snap mixed really well with the banana and the walnut. So I was having fun with my blends. Um, but raspberry tangerine is wild raspberry, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. This is a very bubbly, fruity candle. Not bubbly like effervescent, but the zest is very zesty. That's a really good description. I told you guys I'm a professional reviewer over here. But this is not champagne toast. That is where you get your effervescent, bubbly champagne um, element. This is almost like, you know, you left your uh, champagne bottle out and all the carbonation went away. This is what you're left with from champagne toast. But I still think it's nice if you like fruity scents that aren't overly sweet. This was not a sweet candle. It just was kind of, um, it's like a good transition candle. I liked it for um, you know, I kind of say like reset candles. This worked for a reset candle. I had done a bunch of gourmands and I was moving into some Valentine's candles and I burned this one in between. So like champagne toast, this one kind of worked for that as well, but it's not overly sweet, but I really enjoy raspberry tangerine in the body care as well as in the home fragrance. And here is the burn. It was perfect. It was a really perfect burn. Look at, there's like not even any soot. It did a really good job. So I was happy with this. I'd We'll pick it up again. I just don't have any plans to right now because I don't need it, but I like it. So I will have it again. Okay, so then I did go ahead and burn through another Endless Weekend. This is another beautiful reset candle for me. So sometimes when I've done some heavier things or just some really fun mixing, but it's like still really lingering in the air, I need to get my air vents clean. I, I'm just convinced that I need to do that for a full reset, but um, I like Endless Weekend for that purpose as well. So if I burn this one in my big open concept space, it's not necessarily a powerhouse, but it definitely cleanses the air as notes of fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, blue coconut water. And this one was just a tiny bit sooty, but that could have really been me burning it like without, you know, reckless abandon. Sometimes I'm really good about three or four hours. I put them out. I try something else. Um, sometimes I let them go a little bit longer and you experience a little bit of that. So I will just say that's probably me because the candle doesn't look overly sooty, but it's really nice. It's, it's like light, it's sort of beachy, but it's not like, like super leaning towards like beachy coconut or beachy salty waves. It's kind of like in the middle, like I, you know, a coconut water, those are lighter drinks anyway. The Magnolia gives it like a sweet floral, but it's very light. And then just like I said, very kind of, um, not really overly fruity, but just, I don't know, light, it reset my air. It's really clean scented. So I like Endless Weekend. I've had so many and I will continue to repurchase it because I like it a lot. Okay, hopefully these are helpful thoughts. I'm not sure. I've kind of, this is end of the day, end of the day hair. And you know, I just want to film this video for you all. So next I have a few Valentine's candles that I was burning and loving. Um, we'll start with this one. This is Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles. And this had notes of rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. And it did burn really, really well. It was really nice and it got just a tiny bit sooty, but I think they all do. We are working with a flame, right? This still has a beautiful scent. So this really was best described by whoever first said it. It's like smelling a box of chocolates before you actually taste any of them. You get a little bit of a couple of different chocolates and they do smell, um, you know, like I get a little dark chocolate, a little milk chocolate. Um, I do get a little fruit. I guess it's cherry, but you know how sometimes your chocolates have orange cream, strawberry cream. I get like that aspect of fruit more than just like cherry. And the butterscotch, I don't necessarily pick up butterscotch, but it's definitely creamy and rich and decadent. And I just really like this candle. I backed it up so I'll get to experience it again. But this was a Valentine's Day burn for me. I thought it was very fitting because this came out and I enjoyed it. I, If you can still get your hands on this, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's a really nice candle. And it definitely gave me a solid medium throw. And I I just like had this in my open concept space, but I didn't expect it to fill my open concept space. It was like filling the surrounding area of like where we sit and enjoy. So I thought that was just fine. So I really enjoyed Positively Sweet. And then I thought this one worked for like, do you guys remember when you're little, you get like red hot cinnamon hearts from like Brock's or whatever. Um, so I went ahead and paired that candle in the other room. I used a cinnamon and clove buds and I thought it was kind of like red hots, which kind of thought of Valentine's Day. What do you think? So it was in this Christmas packaging that came out for Christmas time. Um, I had one wick that would constantly stay 
taller than the others. Is that a thing? Is anybody else? Or did I, I did, I just take off the little top. So it's still so strong. You guys know if you love cinnamon, this is already a favorite candle of yours. This has notes of cinnamon leaf, clove bud, and ground nutmeg. It's almost strong enough to almost make you not like tear up, but like it really opens up your sinuses. And I just, it's a candle I really enjoy smelling on cold, to be honest. But I thought the burn was really good. Like I said, it was giving me like Red Hot Cinnamon Heart vibes. So I use that candle. I love that candle. It's also kind of similar, I think actually exactly to Holiday. So I'm burning a holiday right now. I'm still in the cinnamon mood, but then I'm going to probably put that away. Um, but it doesn't really make me think of Christmas cinnamon. I think that's more of like a cider. This really makes me think of just like candy cinnamon. So I like that one a lot. I want to talk about her. So I did do a like too late in the game current burn review, but like most of you said in the comments, which I really appreciate, we're still burning and loving our candle day candles, I hope, because that was not that long ago. Just two months. I mean, that's really not in like the span of your life. You should still think this is new, but we have had many, many, many collections come out since then. So I went ahead and I was, I remember a few people reviewed this one and said, no throw, didn't smell like anything. And I thought, I love blueberry sugar from the past. So I'm going to pull this out. And I had three of them. And it wasn't like, I'm going to pull this out and exchange them if they're bad. But I was like, I want to see what's up. Now, I did not have the experience whatsoever with blueberry sugar. Now, first of all, I really thought this packaging was adorable. I love how the light catches those little pieces. And I, I don't know if I'm just like easily amused, but that was plenty for me. I thought this was actually really cute packaging. The notes are sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker crust. And I really love the blueberry note in here. Um, it's super sweet and it's not super sweet like blueberry maple pancakes. That's mostly maple sweet. This is blueberry sweetened. So it really just smells like the actual fruit, but like sugared or sweetened for a dessert and um i get brown sugar and I, I maybe get a crust note it's very much the the least note that i pick up but this was so good this was so strong and i didn't need to pair this with anything this came through for me and i don't know if there's just i'm not sure like i said i remember when i was burning this and like this one was one of those candles that got strong the moment the flame touched the wax I could smell this candle before ever pulled out. I thought that was really good. And again, I love that every once in a while. I love to be surprised by a candle. I was thinking of candles to pair this with and I never ended up pairing it because I was like, this one's doing just fine on its own. So blueberry sugar, I love it. I love it. And it's so good. You can't get it anymore. So I don't want to say I recommend this, but when this comes out, don't sleep on this candle. It's, it's, it's not as sweet as blueberry rainbow pancakes to me, but it is, uh, it's, it's a different, it's a sister to blueberry pie. And I really like blueberry pie. This is sweeter than blueberry pie for me. Um, this is just like almost just the blueberries, but oh my gosh, I just, I really had to tell you all because I was so surprised, especially when I heard that it wasn't performing at all for other people. I was like, mine's good. So anyway, moving on to the next one. I also got through a black cherry Merlot again, Kind of Valentine's week. I was just pulling up candles that made me think of Valentine's Day things. I never ended up sharing a video with you all and I'm sorry. I do film a lot of videos so some of them I just don't get to. I was gonna do five candles I want to burn for the week of Valentine's Day but I didn't um, film it. So this is another packaging that like I said I don't know if I'm just easily amused but that was cute enough for me with the gold and the iridescent and Black Cherry Merlot already has a following and a you know a fa fan favorites to some people. It's dark cherries, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. And absolutely. And this one is another one. Like I can smell it over here. I can smell all of the notes. Like you know black cherry Merlot if you've, you know, shopped at Bath and Body Works for any amount of time um, because the scent never changes for me. And I really, really enjoyed this candle. This was another one that gave me a very decent medium high throw in my big open space. Like I said, someday maybe I should show you what my big open space looks like, but this is a small room. That's when I say small room, I either burnt it in here or a bedroom. An open concept means it's my kitchen, living room, and um, dining room, and they don't have any walls or any space, like any 
L's to cross. There's no, it just is all open. So it's a pretty big size room. And like I said, that's what I'm talking about when I say medium high. Whenever I was walking around the room burning this candle, I could pick it up all over the place. So I really enjoy Black Cherry Merlot. It's one of those candles I want to burn one every once in a while and just have one on backup, kind of like Champagne Toast, not similar in scent, but I just want to have one every once in a while to burn. So I really liked that one. Okay, we're getting down, you guys. Thank you for sticking with me all this time. Okay, root beer donut. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I had I had said in some previous videos, so if, if you've been watching me for a little bit, I said that I didn't understand the Kringle thing because I had gotten the two wick country jar styles and mine were dudding out. Mine, my wax was murky um, and, and, and turning and it really smelled burnt and just, not good and so i wasn't sure what was going on because those were the first candles i ever tried and then i started hearing about this donut collection and i went through a blueberry maple donut and that was delicious and i got three of these i think i only have one left and this is so strong it smells just like an a and w root beer float but you also get that bready donut in there but not in like a gross oil way in like a fresh, like you walked into a donut shop kind of way and you can smell that donuts are made there type of thing. This was really good. And I like the concept of it because I don't think there actually is such a thing as root beer donut, but these scents work together really well. So because of this candle, I need to know down below, what are your recommendations from Kringle? I really do kind of want to stick towards the three wicks, I think, because I had gotten six different two, two wick jars just last year, and again, they all were like that for me. Um, like this, the cotton candy one, couldn't smell it. I got like a mint and mint tea one, I don't know, mint one, couldn't smell it. I got the s'mores and smoke, I like that one. Smoke and s'mores was good. Hot chocolate was good, but they did get like, the, it was red wax for hot chocolate and it was like white, um, anything that had been burned through had turned white. So like, as I was burning it down, I was like, what is happening with these? But this, is delicious. Please bring this back Kringle candle. I want to have it again. It is like so authentically root beer. Like you can smell the foam on top. It's crazy. It's so good. And so let me know down below, what do you love from Kringle? Because I do think I want to try a few more candles. After this, this was a third good candle in the three wicks. I'm just going to stay away from the two wicks because they weren't meant for me. That's all. They weren't meant for me. And then this one is my final candle. Vanilla Swirl Brownie. Now this is obviously our little dupster to the cookies and cream milkshake that we all wanted to come back so bad. And then it came back and I did get a, like three of these. So I'm stopped. But unfortunately, right around the midway point, actually, it was like right at the middle. This still smells so good. I have to say, let, let me, before I start complaining, chocolate cookie crumbles, yes. Vanilla bean ice cream, yes. And you know, if you know, there's a difference between vanilla ice cream and vanilla bean ice cream. There's like that actual, like the bean, you know, oh, you can smell it in there. It's so good. Chocolate drizzle with natural essential oils. Yes, this is so good. This candle is amazing. However, mine like wouldn't stay lit at like this point, which is fine. I put it on the warmer and I really enjoyed it for like two weeks. I just kept and like when I put it on the warmer and it warmed up, I warm, I have a bottom warmer only and it warmed up and it just, it was good. But it, it was sad because again, I still have a lot of wax in here, but man, oh, so rich and creamy and delicious. I really enjoyed this candle. Um, I just, you know, I'm being honest, like it stopped burning for me, but we can do other things. You know, I could have liquefied it and turned it into wax melts, which doesn't sound like a bad idea actually. This still gives me a little bit, but I just, like I said, I'm moving on to some other scents. So I really enjoyed it burning to the halfway point, And then I really enjoyed it on the warmer for like a couple of weeks, but I really hope that they just continue bringing this out. I wish they would have just left the name cookies and cream milkshake though, just so we knew that's what we were getting. Cause I know some people were like, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I say it is a hundred percent and it did throw well and it performed well until it didn't. Um, meaning that like every time I lit it up, it made me happy. Then all of a sudden I remember like I saw the wick just kept going out and I was like, what? And it was like all of them, they they were all going out. No fans blowing anywhere near it. I just must've got some wicks that were not so good. So that is the end of my post burns for this couple of weeks. I know this is super long. Let me know down below what you've been burning and loving. I appreciate it. Um, I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It really is my favorite part. 
And I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you can give me a like, that's cool. And leave me a comment and subscribe if you're not. I appreciate it. And until the next one, which is probably going to be tomorrow, I'll see you soon, friends. Bye.